Seven months ago, Wizards of the Coast released Mordenkainen's Tome of Foes. In it, we got 5th edition stats for a lot of older demons. One of them is the Armonite Demon last seen in 2nd edition's Planescape setting. Armonite Demons act as heavy cavalry for the demon armies. Uh, sorry, that 5th that edition design seems very... Alright. It seems that Ralph Partha used to make miniatures based on the 2nd edition versions, but they're pretty different from the current ones. The 2nd edition Armonite Demons were more like centaurs that used weapons and armor, and in 5th they're more like raging beasts. Yeah, like that. But just for shiggles, let's see if we can't find anybody selling those original Ralph Partha. Oh my god, $60. Okay. Collector's prices. Alright, time to make our own Armonite Demons out of some cheap toys and junk. The three main ingredients in this recipe are Lagoon Creatures from SCP's Big Bucket of Monsters. That's a product I reviewed on this channel. Of course, you could find a similar 54 millimeter scale figure uh, that's monstrous that might work. I just think this one's a particularly good fit. You also want plastic Halloween centipedes. I got these from Rite Aid right after Halloween for a quarter. You can still find plastic centipedes like them online for pretty cheap. And the third ingredient are these plastic horses. Now, these are way out of scale with D&D horses. These are more like 54 millimeter, uh, but they're really common in farm sets. It's a pretty common type of toy. I'm sure I picked them up at a thrift store for, you know, next to nothing, but you can grab lots of them off eBay for just a couple of bucks also. For my bases, I'm using can lids. I use cork for rock and craft sand for flocking. I like using can lids as bases because they're light and strong and they come with free green beans. Now do not use can lids if you only have a traditional can opener. They're going to have sharp edges and you'll slice your fingers up. You're going to need to get one of these special safety can openers. They're a bit more money, about eight bucks, but you get these perfectly safe and economic bases from them. So let's get started on our kit bashing process. Uh, we're going to start by cutting up our lagoon creatures. We're just going to cut off their lower half here, starting at the hips and legs. We don't need any of that. Now we're going to cut the heads and tails off of our horses. Same thing. Using a Dremel cutting tool to remove the tails and heads and then cleaning those up with a safety knife. Then we're going to take our Dremel tool and add a drill attachment and put holes into our lagoon creature torsos and into the neck stumps of our horses. We're going to hold this together with hot glue, but I'm also going to take a paper clip here and I'm going to chop it up with my wire cutter and just to add a little structure in there because hot glue at the end of the day just isn't that strong. Then we're gonna glue it all together uh, using some hot glue. We'll press that down and we'll seal up any gaps between the two parts with hot glue as well. We're gonna cover up where those two toys meet in the front using a plastic jewel bead. It'll uh, conceal where the two are joined and also these critters shoot lightning. If you'd like you can pretend that's where the lightning originates from a sort of a gem like structure on their stomach. Now we're gonna cut the heads off our plastic centipedes and we're gonna glue that to the back of our lagoon creature and horse, uh, leaving like a bit of extra there to sort of be the tail and cleaning off any excess hot glue that might be leaking out from the bottom with a safety knife. We'll just dig that out of there. Now our Armonite is largely constructed. We're gonna have to work on putting them on a base. So we're gonna take a nail and hammer a hole punch a hole into our can lid here then we're going to use our Dremel tool to put a hole in the bottom of one of our horse's feet we're going to do that for each one of these Armonite demons now that we've got that hole we put that base and our horse together using a small machine screw we just screw that in buddy what the hell do you want Now I'm going to take a bit of cork here and I'm just going to hammer it instead of cutting it up. It gives you a, a much more natural rock look. You just sort of hammer the cork, get some cracks in there and then tear pieces off of it. So that's going to be for our base and I just stick that down to the base using a little E6000. After that I'm just going to spread some white PVA glue onto the base using a very cheap plastic brush. And then I'm going to dump some craft sand on there. Then we're going to take these guys outside and we're going to hit them with some black spray primer. Wish I had some gray. All I got is black. And I got to tell you, working up from the yellow from this black primer was a nightmare. Let's take a look at some of the different stages of painting on this project. I started out laying down a yellow base coat. 
I then washed that base coat. The color I used was mustard yellow. I washed it in a Games Workshop a flesh wash. Then I highlighted it using a, a color known as lemonade here, which is just a very, very light yellow. And then I began to attack sort of the extremities, the centipede legs, the limbs, and the head. And I, I turned those back to black. And then I began working a gradient up from purple to red on them in most cases. I think they came out pretty good. I like the finished product. Anyway guys, as always, please hit the like and subscribe button. If you like this channel and you'd like to see more of it, please consider donating to my GoFundMe campaign. Link's at the bottom there. And always check us out on Facebook. We've got a miniature mashup group. Feel free to like that as well. Thanks for watching.